Okay, uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. My name is Victor, and I'm going to be your anchor for this training. So this is the Cisco Cyber Security Operations Associate, right? So we call it Cisco Cyber Ops. It's an intermediate level cyber security training program owned by Cisco. So Southtech is a networking academy partner, Cisco Network Academy partner. So if you intend taking this particular program, uh, don't forget to uh, fill the form in the description below. And the complete recording for this particular program is available on the channel. So don't forget to subscribe and see you in the training. So, but in this video, I want to do a complete description of what is uh, possible, what you're going to be expecting in the training. And I'm going to go through all of the different models, right? So you have about 28 models. It covers several areas. So we call it the Cisco Cyber Ops Associate. If you sign up for the program, you're going to uh, have access to the Cisco Learning Management System, the platform, the website for learning. You're going to be able to take module exams. You're going to be able to take quiz. Then you're going to be able to take the Networking Academy exam. Once you pass the Networking Academy exam, uh, you could get a verified badge, right? And this badge, you could share it across LinkedIn, across, uh, you could get a transcript for it. And it verifies that you've gone through the curriculum up to 30 hours of training. You've done about 52 hands-on labs. Uh, you've also used Security Onion and uh, you could deploy these either live or on Cisco Packet Tracer. So the skills covered in this course is attack methods, computer forensic, cryptography, cybersecurity data event analysis. Uh, there you learn about SAM, uh, security um, um, information uh, enterprise management, right? Where you want to, uh, all of the alerts you have within your enterprise, you want to be able to securely log most of these incidents and be able to events and use them for analysis. So you talk about SAM, you talk about SOA. So also endpoint threat analysis, host-based analysis, uh, then incident response, quite a lot is covered in this curriculum. So the Cisco Cyber Ops certification program helps you to start a career in cybersecurity. But before you take this course, I would assume that you've taken either a web programming, basic web programming, front-end design course. You could set up a website. You could uh, code in any basic language. You know what a network, a, a web server is. And you also understand networking fundamentals. So in this channel, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. You have complete uh, training curriculum on basic web programming. You also have on the Cisco networking uh, introduction to networking is CCNA level one. You have that all in this channel. So subscribe, take all of those uh, trainings, take your notes, uh, fill the form, get your certification and badge, then you cannot take this cybersecurity operations associate. So this course, like every other intermediate level cybersecurity program, makes an assumption that you understand tech, right? So this is perfect for professionals that seek to initiate a career as associate level, or I can say intermediate level, cybersecurity experts, analyst within a SOC. So a SOC is a security operation center. So most organizations, they can have uh, two, three persons that take care of security for them. You can refer that to be the incidents responders. So they could have an office where they're going to be doing all of that. So that will, that will now uh, become their SOC, their security operation center. In some organizations, it's a department on its own. Whereas in some organizations, it's just a one man uh, person. Then in some organizations, it's assourced to an external consultant. Professionals who wish to learn about basic cybersecurity principles and technology. So this covers uh, all of that and a little bit beyond. Benefits. So one of the benefits of taking this course is that you have in-depth knowledge. So this is not just a, 
an awareness kind of training. No, you have about 52 labs in this curriculum, in this training, right? So we talk about breaches, talk about uh, simulations, uh, uh, resolutions, analysis, how did you security monitoring, then of course, ethical hacking. It's also helped you to develop some sound skills, right? Through running hands-on experience, right? Using uh, virtualized environments and of course, physical environment to concretize most of the things you're learning in this curriculum. Of course, it prepares you for 210, 250, uh, or the 210, 255 um, uh, Cisco cybersecurity industrial course or industrial certification. Yes, you learn about cyber spinach, cyber crime, insider threat, um, regulatory requirements. Then you have a lot of hands on, all right? In this channel, also, you have uh, a playlist that handles uh, most of the labs associated with this Cisco Cyber Ops curriculum. And of course, you. Uh, if you sign up for the Cisco Learning Management Platform, you, you can connect to a global community of uh, uh, learners uh, within the Cisco uh, Network Academy. So you'll be trained by uh, certified trainers. I am certified and all of the trainers are going to uh, drop voice notes and give you assistance either in any of our physical offices or if you enroll for this course remotely, uh, you're going to be taught by a certified trainer. Uh, you're going to have lectures, you're going to have labs, you're going to have research, you're going to have review. All of these things will help you provide uh, uh, knowledge being transferred so that you can understand most of this context uh, and content discussed. Okay, uh, so Upon completing the certification, you have skills that are prepare you for, of course, more advanced rules. Uh, it covers the SOX center. Then you understand security monitoring. You understand how to protect your organization. And you understand security challenges uh, as it regards uh, network applications. So it's a little bit fast paced, right? So, but all of the complete content, but the slides, the video explainer, the labs, access to Cisco Learning Management uh, platform, mentorship is all available um, for you. So there are quite a lot we're going to be learning. There are about 28 modules, right, in the Cisco Cyber Ops Associate course. First one is the danger. Uh, you're going to be looking at why do we need to even start learning as uh, uh, cyber security w what is at stake then in two we look at what skill set do we need to become fighters to become defenders so cyber security is more defensive than uh rather more offensive than defensive let me explain so 60, 70, 80% of all of the stuff you're going to be doing is going to be offensive. So you want to prepare for war. So you don't prepare for war by waiting for, uh, waiting until it happens, but you want to do things like information security policy documents. You want to do training awareness. You want to uh, implement all of the tools. You want to implement all of the techniques. You want to implement all of the tricks. You want to implement all of the countermeasures within your enterprise to make sure that you are ready before um any incident happens so in chapter two in module two we're going to bring out some of the skill set that you need and some associate uh, some uh, certifications associated with you getting yourself ready and because in tech in cyber security whatever you're going to be trying to protect is going to be hinged on an operating system so it then means that we need to understand Windows, Linux, even at times Mac, because the Mac uh, operating system is, 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 uh, is a derivative of the Linux um, operating system, yes. So uh, we want to understand how do we, how, how all of these operating systems, how do they take care of uh, security? For instance, most operating systems, 
provide a way for you to do defense, right? They have their uh, monitoring tools. They have uh, tax management systems. They have uh, even browsers these days will not allow you to do some certain kind of things because those security countermeasures are inherent within the applications or within the operating system. Then of course, this course is slightly tilted to network security. Then we're also going to be looking at network protocols. What are those protocols that are plain text protocol and that are secure protocols? And how do we implement that within our enterprise? Then we'll learn about internet and internet protocol, network verification, ARP, net transport layer, network services, network communication devices. We look at network security infrastructure. We look at several attackers and their tools. Very, very important curriculum, or rather very important uh, module, right? This module lists quite a lot of those uh, 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 type of vulnerabilities, the threats associated with them, and what tools can be used to exploit them. Then in 14, we look at common threat and actor attacks. Then we look at network monitoring. So you cannot implement uh, security without monitoring whatever you've done. Take for instance, you have a, a mall. They implement cameras, which is more or less a deterrent um, or a detective, the both deterrent and detective cyber security uh, measure if it's going to protect any of their digital infrastructure. If it's going to protect their physical um, items, it, it now becomes a um, if, if, if physical uh, 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 security measure. So the point is, if we implement those cameras and there's no uh, CCTV control room for monitoring, I can bet you that somebody is going to pick something, is going to steal it, is going to go away, and nothing is going to happen. Right? So when we implement security across our network, our web apps, our cloud infrastructure, we want to make sure that we have tools that can help us monitor. Right? Attacking the foundation, attacking what we do, understanding defense, access control, threat intelligence, very, very important. So it's a very, very important um, module because most of the times, whether you're trying, whoever that's going to be attacking your foundation or whatever you're doing, no matter tool somebody, the, the, the tool somebody is trying to use against you, threat intelligence can help you understand what is happening. Uh, when we say intelligence, we mean we're trying to learn from our past. Yes. So that's where data science have an overlapping skill set in cybersecurity. So if something has happened in the past, at times this is also associated with uh, digital forensics. So if something has happened in the past, how do we know something has happened? How do we use that learnings and project management, we we'll call it lesson learned. How do we use those learnings and help forestall future attack? So that's why you call it intelligence. So, if we have a particular signature of a malware, a malware is any uh, uh, software or any tool or script or whatever that causes system malfunction. So it can be a spyware, a Trojan, a, a virus or whatever. So if we have a malware, for instance, and that malware has attacked company A, and company A has done digital forensic and it can tell the signature, the hash value for that particular malware. What about if we upload that signature and the details of that attack and how it happened on the database? It then means company B someday, if it happens to him again, uh, he when, while doing his uh, digital forensic and doing his research, he can see that yes, that's, this has happened to somebody else before, and we can learn from that. So also a software manufacturer, a hardware manufacturer can say, okay, for me to prevent this kind of thing from happening, I should be able to 
have an anti, something that can detect this kind of signature and of course stop it. So that's where threat intelligence comes in. Of course, you have cryptography. So we're going to be learning um, symmetric and asymmetric uh, cryptography and how they play a role in confidentiality. So cryptography has to do with confidentiality. How do we uh, make sure that uh, who doesn't need to see something does not see something. So hiding files and the rest. So endpoint protection, then of course, endpoint variability assessment, technologies and protocol, network security data, want to evaluate alerts, because you see, evaluating alerts module 26 is closely knitted to module 20, right? It's from these alerts that will archive, that will help us to be able to forestall attacks. Then of course, working with network security data, digital forensics and incidents response. Now, in this channel, you have a uh, intermediate course on digital forensics. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, check the platform, the course, and you could, I think it's about seven, eight uh, series on digital forensics. So if you're interested in this course, uh, check the channel. Uh, you're going to see the complete details for this Cisco Cyber Ops training. If you want to get the Cisco, uh, networking uh, learning platform access and the digital badge, this verified badge, fill the form and see you at the training hub. So in this course, we're going to be working on projects, labs, we're going to be doing some research. And of course, we're going to take exams and certification. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you very much.